Welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to actually register on number app if you are using an iPhone. Because if you come to number.com right here, this one, number.com, you see, scroll down. You see that number app is only on Google Play Store at the time of recording this video. But in this video, I'm going to show which, uh, which means you can only use it on Android phone. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to actually use it on your iPhone how to actually register on your iPhone. If you are new to this channel, you're here to subscribe, click on that subscribe button below. Also give this video a thumbs up so that people who are looking for amazing content like this will be able to see it. All right, guys, once you come to number.com, that's N-O-M-B-A.com, you click on at the top right-hand corner here, you see Get Started. So it will open a new tab. To open a new tab for you so uh this tab will show you to register so you put your first name your last name your last name is your surname and you put the phone number you want to use your work email you can use any email address so then you put password so your password should contain uh so your password should should uh, contain several digits okay let me put my details actually i'm going to pause this video put my details and then i'll click on create account right here So once you click on uh, create account, it will bring you here to say, please verify your account to send an OTP to this account. So in case you are seeing an error message that saying this uh, user already exists, that means this the email you are using is still the same one you've used for one of your accounts. So just ch change the email. So they will send an OTP to your SIM. Just put the OTP, they send, okay, let me pause the video, put the OTP, then you click on verify. So for the email address, for the uh, OTP, they will send one to your phone as SMS, to this number as SMS. They will also send another one to your email. So this one, this one, the first page here is for you to put the OTP they send to your phone. That's four digits code. The second one here is the one they send to your email. Just put the four digits code. After that, just click on verify account. So once you click on that, so once you put the OTP, to ask you for the business name, let's put uh, it up. Let's put eight of ventures. Just put your business name, which is the one that will be showing on your receipts for your customer. Let's put uh, so this one you own this individual business, you own a small scale business register or not registered. This one you own a company registered with CAC. So if you have a company that's registered with CAC, choose this one. But if you don't have a CAC certificate, just choose this one, then click on continue. So uh let's talk about let's talk business. What category of business are you running? So it will, tell, it will ask you, so most of the time, just go with this agency banking because it, it will make your charges more cheaper. Just click on next. Welcome to number. Your account creation is almost set. Let's walk you through the remaining parts. So just click on go to dashboard right here. So once you get to this dashboard, you can see all everything you want to see. Set up your bank account. So you can skip this or you can set up your bank account. So you can do all those, but you can skip it. I'm going to skip it. So you, this one, you can just put the bank account you want to link to this particular account. But I'm going to skip it. So let me just skip. Let me just cancel. So this is your account on number. You see overview. You see the available balance. You see. So if you click on add money right here. So I think because this account is yet to be verified. So once you create the account, you need to log out from your app. Then you log in again. So I, for me, I tried to use the email. It's not working. I just use the phone number. So you need to put the phone number you use to register. So I'm going to put the phone number and the pin and the password. Then I will log in and then continue from there. So once you log in again, you see your. Uh, it will ask you to put account details. Put the account details. I'm going to put my account number and then proceed. So after putting the account number, it will ask you to create a PIN. So you put your four digit PIN, that's the PIN you'll be using to do transaction. So put it and then click on continue. So after putting the PIN, it will ask you to confirm PIN. You put that PIN again, then you, you'll see this after clicking on confirm. You see account added successfully. You have successfully added a bank account for your withdrawals. So you say continue to business review. So you continue to business. So you need to fill all these details here. So this is not the correct date of birth. You need to change everything here. You need to change all your details. Fill your correct date of birth. Fill your BVN. Identification type. You put maybe it's NIMC that you want to use or whichever ID card type you want to use. Upload a picture of yourself. 
So you put your passport here and then you click on continue. So let me do that. I'll pause this video, do that, and then click on continue. Okay, after filling all your details, you see it should take you to this page that is saying business details. That's the stage two. You see all the details we filled. Address, you can put any address. Let me use this address. Then states, you select the state your business is. So this one, let's choose Ocean. Let's choose Ocean Good Local Government. Then you click on this. So business details. So it will show you all your details. Okay. So after filling everything, it will show you, it will wait for you to load, then it will show you pending approval. Why you can continue transacting, we will verify your documents and approve your account. Just click on continue to overview. So to overview, so it will take you here. So it will log you out automatically. Just click on this, put the phone number again, and then log in. So after logging in again, you see, this is what you see. You see available balance, ledger balance. Uh, and this is your new dashboard. You can control everything here. You know the previous time the other time we were trying to click on add money There was no account number here, but now you can see an account number that's carrying your business name This was this is one other way to create a business name. So once the customer transfer to this particular account Now you will be able to see it on your accounts and once you also get a POS terminal You can also see your transactions under transactions at the, on this side so you can see transactions. If I if I do any transaction now, it should show under this place. You can filter, you can get statement of accounts by exporting here. So that's basically how to create a number of accounts. And creating an account this way doesn't mean you can't log in on the app. So once you get uh probably once you get an Android phone, you can also access other features because my, this particular account, this particular dashboard is at the time of recording this video. Is very simple and doesn't have much on it so because for now you can only add money you can withdraw money to your bank account if you click on withdraw you can withdraw to your bank account so you can also you can add money to the that particular account so but you can't do bill payments you can't do most of the things you, you'll be able to do on an android app but at least you are able to access your account and see which transaction comes in and which one goes out of your account so if you have any question, leave it in the comment box below. If you are new to this channel, you are yet to subscribe, click on the subscribe button below. Also give this video a thumbs up so that people who are looking for amazing content like this will be able to see it. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.